Hey, Sid. Such a bummer about your voice. I know how much you were looking forward to singing at church tomorrow. I know. So disappointing. It's weird. You know, all these years you've been singing, and you've never once lost your voice. And right before your church debut. Can't talk. Gotta go. <laughs> oh, hey, Lexi. Sid, you poor thing. I'm so sorry about your laryngitis. I know. It's the worst. Don't you worry. I made great grams cure for sore throats. It'll cure you like honey on a bee sting. <laughs> okay, but don't get your hopes up. Yuck, what is in this? I mean, hey, it worked. <laughs> Wait, your voice is fine. I can't believe you were faking it. <sighs> Can I talk to you? Yeah, must have got your laryngitis. <laughs> okay, I deserve that. I'm sorry I lied. But the truth is, I don't belong on that stage. What do you mean? I'm not soulful enough to sing gospel. Not like Dominique. You don't have to sound like her. Singing gospel is all about putting your own type of soul on it. I know. I just don't want to embarrass myself. You kidding? Back home, Brother William would sing like a rooster honking a car horn. <laughs> but he sang from his heart, so everyone loved it. It's just like gospel's so sacred. I don't want to mess it up. You can't mess it up. It's meant to uplift folks, not impress them. Sorry, Lexi, I just can't do it. Although I feel bad there's no soloist for tomorrow. Yes, there is. I'll do it. You will? I sing with the youth choir back home all the time. Man, they must be lost without me. <laughs> Thank you, Lexi. I can't wait to hear you rock it. Oh, honey, I will. But one day you'll be so moved by the Spirit that you won't be able to stop yourself from singing in church. You really think so? Oh, yeah. The Lord is still working on you.